how to use Miro for project management. So hello everyone. So in today's video, I will teach you guys on how to use Miro for project management. So without further ado, let us begin. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the Miro website, with this, which is just Miro.com and then log in or sign up for free. So let us do the sign up. So to sign up, all you have to do, all you have to do is enter your email right here in this bar and then just click on sign up for free. And then if you want to log in, just click on this login button if you already have an account. So let us sign up. So when signing up, you can sign up with your email or sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft or sign up with Slack. So for me, I will sign up with Google. And then when signing up, it will ask you receive news and updates. So if you want to receive news and updates from Miro, make sure that this box is checked. But if you want to, just leave it be. And then just click on continue to sign up. And then after signing up, it will ask you a couple of questions to customize your project. So it will ask you first, tell us about your team. So what's your team name? So just enter your team name right here. So let's just say project management test. And then it will ask you what kind of work do you do? So let's just choose project management. And then next, it will ask you for your role. So just choose your role over here. And then it will ask you, have you used, have you ever used Miro before? So you can choose, no, it's my first time. Yes, a couple of times or yes, quite often. Then it will ask you, what will you use Miro for? And then it will ask you for your company size. And then it will ask you, how did you hear about Miro? And then once you're done, just click on continue. Then after that, Miro will now ask you to invite your your workers or teammates so there are two ways to invite your teammates in miro so the first way is by copying this link over here and send it to your teammates via chat or email or what you can also do is just enter your teammates says emails right here and then miro will automatically send them an invite and then once you're done with that just click on send invitations and then it will ask you where would you like to start choose an activity for project managers and find all activities in templates later so feel free to choose from here. So you can choose from mind maps, user journey mapping, brainstorming, Gantt charts, retro retrospectives, and task tracking. You can also start from scratch if you want to. So let's just start from scratch. So if you want to start from scratch, just click on this button right here that says start from scratch. And then there you go. You are now in the dashboard of Miro. And then from here, it will open up a templates tab so as you can see over here there are different kinds of templates that you can use for your project management so feel free to choose which one fits best for you so as you can see over here when i scroll down as you can see there is a custom templates right here that says project management test templates so when i click on that so for me i will use um, a product roadmap for my template because for me this is the one that fits best for project management so i'll just choose this one right here and then just click on use and as you can see it has now created the template for our project management moving on let us cover the buttons right here in the side of miro so first we have template so basically what templates do is that you can change the templates from any time. Next, we have the text. So you can add text to any of these bars right here in your template. Next is sticky notes. So you can add sticky notes if you want, if you want to leave note for your board. Next, you can also add shapes if you want. And then next, we have the connection line. So basically what this does is that you can connect these um, boxes right here to each other. And then next, we have the pen. So you can write stuff here on your board. And then comments if you want to leave comments on your task. Frame if you want to change the frame of your project. Diagramming shapes and as you can see there are more apps right here that you could use to further customize your project so you can upload add stickers and emojis make a mind map make tables have an access accessibility checker stickies capture embed embed iframe code kanban add the planner you can also add a code make an org chart add a user card, add images and icons, make a chart, wireframe library, user story mapping, draw IO diagrams, card, brand fetch, smart sheet. You can also use Google images and have a spell checker. So let us start off by adding some text. So let's say we have a worker right here, a teammate that's named Pamela, 
and then you want them to do a test so let's add some text right here and then let's say let's let pamela do um video creation and then if you want to increase the font size there is an option for that so let's just increase the font size a little and then you can also change the font if you want so they have different kinds of fonts here to your liking you can also change the font style so if you want it bold or italicized underlined so just choose those you can also set the alignment add a list you can also insert a link if you want to change the text color highlight the text set a uh, color and opacity add comments lock the text you can also use miro's assistant and when you click on more over here there are some more options that you could choose so you can edit it copy the style add a comment copy link you could link it to something show the info lock the text bring to front bring forward send backwards send back copy the text copy it as image duplicate the text export it to excel create a frame frame save as template or delete the text so we already added our text right here and then let's just center it and then next we should connect that text so in connecting the text what you want to do is just click on the name of your teammate and then click on this blue circle right here and then as you can see there is now an arrow so that will be used as for connecting it and then there you go it is now connected and then let's add another task so let's add uh, let's say editing and then let's add another one so let's say um publishing and then there so let's connect all of these tasks together so again click on this and then make sure to click on this blue icon and then just drag it to the next bar same goes for this one click on the blue circle and then just drag it to the next bar and then there you go as you can see it it, it has now created arrows to connect the tasks together and then what you can also do is click on the arrow and as you can see there are tons of options that you could choose for your arrow so first we have the line type so you could change the line type of your arrow you can so you can also change the color if you want you can also insert a shape add text again or lock the arrow and then when you click on more options there are still some more options that you could choose for your arrow next thing that we could do is let's add a sticky note so to add the sticky note just go to the left bar over here and then look for six sticky note or just press n on your keyboard and as you can see there are tons of colors that you could choose as your sticky note so let's just use this yellow one right here and then just click in where you want to place your sticky note so let's just place it here and then you can type anything that you want on your sticky note there are also some other options that you could choose over here in your sticky note like changing the font size font style the alignment you can also insert links the sticker size, the color, add tags, add emojis, cluster objects, comments, lock, and you can also use Miro's assistant. Moving on, let's insert some shapes. So you can add any shapes that you want. So let's try to add the circle right here. Then you can see it has now added the shape. You can also add text in that circle if you want to. And then you can also edit its style, the font size, and everything. Next is we have the pen. So basically, it allows you to draw stuff on your board. So as you can see over here, I can now draw stuff using the pen tool. You can also use a highlighter if you want to, if you want to highlight your text. And if you want to erase it, you can do that as well. You can also lasso if you want to. There you go. So as you can see, when I lasso stuff, it highlights the stuff that I lasso. And then next, let's add some comments. So if you want to add a comment on something, just click on comments and then add it somewhere. So let's say let's add it here and then you can add the comment. Please do this ASAP. And then there you go. And then let's say you want to present your board in like a meeting or something what you have to do is just go to this present icon right here and just click on present this you can see you can now present your board and then there's also some options right here that you can choose so there is a timer voting and tools emoji reactions preferences and you can also share the board for others to join then once you're done just click on stop and then there's some more options right here in the top left corner so there's a main menu so you can change the board um change the view preferences and there's also a, a help center right here if you need help with some advanced details and then you can also export this board so you can export this board as an image as a pdf or save board as a template export it to spreadsheet embed it or save it to google drive and then yeah that is pretty much it on how to use miro for project management